to now scalp our knit again. This video is for beginners, those who are just starting. Just watch this video because I'm about to teach you how to calculate your lot size, how to calculate pips. Because the reason for calculating pips is nothing but to know the lot size. That's all it is. So now watch this video to the end so you know how to set your trades and learn your risk management. Because if you set trade without loss size, without stop loss, you are deviating from your risk management. And this thing will now make you to be losing in, in forex trading. People that trade, people are, that are, who are pro in trading always know their risk management very, very well. They are, they are always a, a, they don't play with it. So please don't play with your risk management. Watch this video so that I will now tell you how to place anything you want to place and how to manage your risk very well. First of all, look at the trade I have placed in my demo account. So after my analysis I, uh, for this video, I just place the video so that I use it and I run this tutorial for you guys. Now let us check the how many pips we we use in trading this boom 500 what you do is click on 500 and hold it there will be options that will come out you see charts you press on the chart or you can just swipe it to the left and this things will come out you can just press the chart the one that is at this at, at the extreme right that's the chart if now bring this chart for you now look at this thing that is here this icon sorry that was a mistake click on the screen you will you will see this icon here this icon here This one here, the one that look like cross. That's what we use in calculating pips. Thank God for Meta Meta Trade at five. That is it's only Meta Trade five that we can see that icon. So you now use this thing and calculate your pips and know how much you're about to lose and how much you're about to gain. As simple as that. So now you click on it, you see something like this. I know by now you have seen something like this before. Somehow, sometimes look at it here. Can as well as see it at up here. You can as well use this. Yeah, the two. You can press there, or you can press that circle, and it's now come out. That's as simple as that. So if you now press it, you now see it's now be running around. You see. Now what you do now is you set it there at sell. You hold it with your. Uh, your left hand left finger and then use the right to drag it up if you drag it up to each side line you now stop then there are two numbers there the one the one at the left and the one at the right if you are calculating pips the one you will use is the one at the right that is the one that at the left now the one that is at the right is 11 11.723 just like that so 11 11.782 that's one that is at the right are we together now what you do now is to check your loss size 30 let me just call it 11 this 30 that is here is just the amount of candle so i don't think we actually need that the, amount, the number of candles from the place it started to the place where it stopped is 30 candles so 11 is the pips so you now click on that icon where you go and place your trade you see three three is there you now come back and go to your calculator you go to your calculator and press uh, where is my calculator? You go to your calculator and press 3 times 11. It will give you 33. 3 times 11 will give you 33. That means 
we are risking 33 dollars here from here to here we are risking only 33 dollars i don't know if you are getting me so that's where we are risking only that 33 dollars here so if this trade go against us we are losing 33 dollars so how much are we gaining one from here to here which is the tp is 15 hope you are seeing it 15 then you now go to your calculator remember that our loss size is three is three so if you are using two or one anyone you are using just use and multiply the number that is at the right right side after you drag the thing so the number that the right side is here that is here is 15 so 15 times 3 15 times 3 15 times 3 we give you 45 so if this trade goes for us we are making 45 dollars now let us take how much have we made so far how much have we made so far so you now understand what i'm saying you know how much you are risking and how much you are gaining so how much are we going to how much are we, are we gonna make if for like as this trade is going on how much are we gonna make so look at that boom this boom boom 200 see boom boom 500 you notice that i have only you notice that i have 22 dollars so boom 500 you now draw from the point of entry look at the point of entry here have you seen it then down to this place is seven hope you are seeing it is seven at the right because one at the left 29 is number of candle the one that is at the right is seven so you now say seven go to your calculator seven seven times three is 21 seven times three is 21 although we have 7.772 let me just add everything 7.772 to all these small small numbers or something is now 23.3 23.31 i was underestimating the number now it has given us three dollars so look at it now it's now 24 within that period that means it has been rising so that that's this symbol is very good for you to use and start to calculate no more going for using for looking for calculators to calculate your stop loss that symbol can do it for you okay let us check this the third one the second one sure. then go to chart after this one will stop then we now take it to the buy let us check since we've known how to calculate the stop loss on the former video that i that uh, i just did now let us check how much are we gonna make are you with me how much have we made so far you now hold it and drag it up this is what in in crash 300 index in 15 minutes time frame this is so let me quickly calculate the the the, the pips in volatility time index you press and hold the charts will now come out you bring out that symbol that i told you that time you place it where it's supposed to be Use your right finger to hold it and take it up. I see it is now 7.5, 7.515, and then our loss size. Look at our loss size here. Our loss size is uh, 0 0.0.3. You can see there 0 0.3. 0 0.3. I've forgotten what we did before. Is 0 0.3. 0 0.3 keep this one here is 6.858 times 0 0.3 we now give you we can give you 2.05 so you now go back to the chart and see it's now 2.1 so that's what i was trying to tell you that with that you can use it and calculate your pips your loss size everything you need to calculate just calculate it. the number that is at the right you multiply it with the loss size you, we are using 
with that you can know your risk management and protect your phone so as you not be losing in volatility market please subscribe to my channel you can join you can join my telegram group using the link and we'll be dropping signals please for those that uh, that are new day in this in this forex go to my playlist and watch all the videos there and believe me you be, you become a god you become a giant in in volatility indices thanks so much and subscribe to my channel bye